Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Nandikano's U.S. lawyer challenged Malami to public debate. And these have generated reactions by Nigerians. As we progress, you will hear what Nigerians are saying concerning this. Bruce Fenn. A United States U.S. lawyer of Nandikano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has challenged the Nigerian Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Abubakar Malami, to a debate. Fen challenged Malami to a debate on a national television over the legal rights of the Southeast to agitate for Biafra. In a series of twists, Tweet, the U.S. Anthony said Malami would have accepted the vid if he turned down the challenge. According to Fenn, I challenge Anthony General Malami or his designee to debate me on Nigerian television. Topic, the legal rights of Biafrans to self-determination. My opponent can use two words to every one of mine. Malami concedes defeat if he scampers away from my challenge. Kano is being held in the course study of the Department of State Services, DSS. Hmm. I'm a jury lawyer, one of the scam bags that messed up this country. A quarter system lawyer and a big thief. <laughs> Even the National Assembly that screamed him confirmed him not qualified. To be a minister, talk more of Anthony General, just that the president is one of the stark illiterate Nigeria has. Hey, Mr. Lawyer Femme, I think U.S. have constitution. Go back to U.S. and have this, your debate in U.S. court, not in Nigeria, because we believe in constitutions. As law abide citizens, Femme, only, only thing you need to see your client, Namdekano, is coming to court to claim his innocency as according to our client Nandekano, IPOP leader, the Biafra agitator or Biafra installation group. Okay, so I want just drop that. Malami, over to you. Come and prove the school when you say you go. Even your illiterate or guy run away from presidential debate. I know you will also run away because Una not go school at all at all. <laughs> Nigerians. Uh, can be funny. The quota system lawyer, of course, won't accept the debate for he knows full well it could spell disaster for him in a country that deserves to be one he had never qualified as a lawyer, let alone a senior counsel and an attorney general. Malami won't even accept to debate the issue with me, a layman. If he declined, that means Biafra has come to stay. If Malami eventually accept the challenges, it is just for it to be on record. Let it not be that he has accepted defeat, but he can never appear before the debate. If he does, he is going to rubbish himself by displaying his incompetency. Oh yeah, Malami, not be you say you be oga, pata pata for law. Can't see challenge you this one, eh? <laughs> not be small fight to you go fight and run away to fight tomorrow. This one now fight to finish. He will not challenge you because he knew that what he's doing is not right thing. And more moreover, it's not sound to talk in public. That is why they banned people from entering the courtroom. <laughs> Charge and bail lawyer sitting on the right on the high table answering yes, my lord. Now the jungle done matured. Let's know who be who. Abi, your liver they fail you. Malami, Anthony General, Fen, US lawyer is challenging on debate. We need your response. Bruce Fen, you are going too far. It's not possible. A square peg is a round hole. How can he literally debate you? Oga Malami na fear go and debate. We Nigerians are strongly behind you. Hmm. He will still attend the debate. Why should he? A whole country's AGF 
to debate a U.S. lawyer. This is not to say he is not capable. He is. Him, Mr. Ozekome, will not be there to prompt him for words. It should be just issued. Okay, I beg your pardon. I don't really get that. So, guys, these are reactions uh, by Nigerians. The Bruce Femme, a United States U.S. lawyer of Nande Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB has challenged the Nigerian Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Abubakar Malami, to a debate. The firm challenged Malami to a debate on a national television over the illegal rights of the Southeast to agitate for Biafra. In a series of tweets, the U.S. attorney said Malami would have accepted defeat if he turned down the challenge. According to Fenn, I challenge Attorney General Malami or his designee to debate me on Nigerian television topic, the illegal rights of Biafrans to self-determination. My opponent can use two words to every one of my Malami conceded defeat if he scampers away from my challenge. Record that Kano is being held in the custody of Nigerian Department of State Services, DSS. Okay, Nigerians who have reacted to this are saying that Malami can never, ever, you know, appear in court because he knows he's not capable. Some also said that all these ones, uh, the U.S. Uh, a lawyer to Nam the Kano is saying, he's just saying it to because Malami no go come. So I'm saying not they qualified and all that. In fact, Nigerians don't talk left, right, and center. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.